Hey guys, Tom here from Pixel's Edge. As we all know, the PS4 came out this week. In addition to many other features that the console came with, it also has built-in streaming to both Twitch and Ustream, as well as sharing uh, straight to YouTube. Uh, but if you're like me, and you prefer to capture it directly to your computer and use higher quality microphones, green screens, all that stuff, you're going to need to be able to capture it uh, through your PC. And with the PS4 having only HDMI, that's a bit of a trick, but I figured it out, and that's what this video is here to show you how to do. So, let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is log into your PS4, go up into the top menu, select Settings, scroll down to Sound and Screen, go into Video Output, Make sure you're, for this card, I'm using the Blackmagic Intensity Pro and it needs to be at 720p. It cannot do 1080p. There are other cards that uh, support it, such as the Aver Media, but I have Blackmagic Intensity, so I use 720. Now, this, this kept me guessing for a while. You need to go into the RPG range. It will be set to automatic. Set it to full and do the same thing with the P, with the Y, P, B, C, B, or blah, 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 blah. Set that to full as well. Um, because this wasn't set, it wasn't detecting it properly, and it just would not display, and it kept me scratching my head for about an hour. But once you once you have these settings set, um, you are good to go, and it can be captured. An additional thing that you should do is go to your audio output settings and set your primary audio output to your digital optical out, which is what we're going to be capturing from, because the HDMI out does carry optical, but DVI does not carry the optical, or does not carry the audio signal along with it. So make sure you set it to digital optical. And then just keep it at whatever it's set to. You can select uh, the surround sound, but if you're just capturing it and streaming it, I prefer just who cares and just use the linear audio. And that's all you need to do. Now exit out of everything and let's go and see how the actual physical console rig is set up. So now to explain how it actually works, we have our setup here, which is being captured right now. So the way it works is you take a uh, optical cable, come out of it into the optical in on the converter box, which links will be available in the description. Then you go HDMI out, this is the cable that it came with, into the DVI input on the converter box, which I'm using a simple um, H uh, HDMI to DVI converter that came with my video card. You can also get HDMI to DVI cables. In fact, if I reach over here, there are other converters that I have as well. As you can see, DVI or H HDMI coming out straight to DVI to go in there, which also does work. Which all comes out to the master HDMI out, which then is captured by the computer to be streamed and recorded and do all that stuff with. Now that you have your console configured and hooked up to the computer, the last thing to do is open up your control panel, which I spelt wrong, but I'm going to spell right this time. Control panel, go to Blackmagic uh, Design Control Panel, and make sure your input is set to HDMI. Output is whatever you're using, in my case is HDMI as well. Then we can close all those. Now I'm using OBS to do my streaming, and if I'm recording I use the Blackmagic Media Express. But in this case, I'm just going to show you how to do it in OBS. So what you want to do is go to Global Sources, add a new video capture device. And in this case, I'm going to call it Console because that's what it is. And I'm going to select the Deck Link Video Capture. And instead of configuring it in here, my custom resolution is going to be 720 at 59.9402 frames a second. And the audio input is also going to be the Deck Link. Uh, set it to stream only, you don't need to hear it because it's going to be coming through your TV, so it's not that big of a deal. And then just set OK, and OK. Now I'm going to go to my console no video because this is the one that um, won't show my face. So then we'll add a new global source, we'll call it console, we'll add it, and then to make sure we can set up right, we preview the stream, we edit it, expand it to the full resolution, and now we're going to be live streaming the console. Let me find my controller. There it is. So now you can see it's clearly capturing and working perfectly fine. Um, right now it's outputting to my TV as well. And that's how you do this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below or tweet them at me at the fat for the fat 32 or pixels edge. Both are our Twitters. Uh, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.